What's up YouTube, Fish Keepers List here with another fish room update and biggest news is, I'm happy to say, I got the white LED lights working on that light so there's no longer the horrible looking blue glare out of this tank. You can see the nice male and his hair on the females in here. Up here, I've got the final 30 gallon going, large sponge filter, a fluval, which you can't really make out over here, because I painted the sides black and it blends in nice, I actually like that. Heater, just waiting on some substrate, and that'll be ready to put fish in. Fifty-five. Got a bunch of females in there right now. One of the biggest additions I've made is I went and I made glass tops for all the aquariums. I had a guy give me a ton of glass for five bucks yesterday and all the pieces were supposed to fit half of a 55 yet they all were just a little short so that's the size piece i got and for the 30 gallons it was worthless the way it is and for the 55 gallon it wouldn't reach the spans either so what i did is i cut them to make tops. Let me show you how I did this. So here's what I did. I figured out exactly to the center of the 30 gallon is 14 and a half inches. So I took a large span, marked that out, took the glass cutter, scribed it, and I made all the pieces for the 30 gallons to 14 and a half inches. So I found doing a lot of this glass work that it's best to do one quick straight scribe and then take a surface like this, put the line to the edge where you scribed it, and just give it one good whack and it'll break nice and clean like these. There's the line you can see I had on this one with the dry erase marker. So then for those that work well, I needed a center brace and I had some plexiglass sitting around so I cut it to length, exactly what I need, front to back on the tanks, then I cut two inch strips. Now the glass would sit on the side edge, but then I, it would kind of be on a slant going up to the center brace. So. I put one on each end, one in the center, and then I can lay the glass across. I have both a front and a back piece, so when I find some hinge, I can hinge these, and I just have to silicone a knob or glue a knob on here to pick them up. Now on the 55, I did something a little different. I used one by two pieces of wood and you can see I notched a channel in them and like I said the pieces were really close to fitting and I had some wider pieces so I used two of them on here cut the one by twos like I did the plexiglass to fit front to back slid the glass in and now with these when I have to get into the tank or feed them I can just slide the glass back, feed the fish. This one goes back a lot further because there's no filter on that side. And it also serves a dual purpose of lifting the light up a little bit off the glass. So it is the support for my light. So that's pretty much it for today. I have glass tops on all of the tanks 
and white light now on all of them. Pretty happy with the outcome. Now I just have to bind some hinge to hinge the glass and put some knobs on them. Thanks for watching.